lane detection should you stick with traditional computer vision or is deep learning the way forward in this video we put the huff transform and scnn spatial convolutional neural network side by side test them on the same road footage and compare the results let's see which one performs better we will first apply the traditional huff transform then use a pre-trained scnn model and observe the differences all right first things first this is the common road footage that we are going to use to test the performance of both the models the traditional one and then the deep learning so first let's have a look at huff transform in its home ground by home ground i mean that the input image on which we are applying huff transform for lane detection suits best to it as in the thresholding is not so noisy, the lanes are straight and it's able to detect the lanes as slope of a straight line which is what essentially it can do. It cannot detect lanes as curves. So for this it seems to be very perfect, perfectly fitting but that's not the ideal scenario. Now let's see how does Huff Transform performs for the road footage that we have that we are going to use for comparison. So first off, I'm going to rename this to CNN versus not canny, but uh, Huff Transform. So I have the code ready. The only thing is I have changed the input and tried to change the region of interest a bit to suit us better. So when I am running this, I can see that this is far from ideal. I'm seeing a lot of noise. And when I try to cut it down to the region of interest, still I'm seeing noise but uh, and the lanes right lane seems to be fine but left is definitely not fine it should be along the curve and that's the limitation here for our huff transformation it cannot be a curved line it will always try a straight line and even when it's trying a straight line it could have done much better job but it's not doing it because uh, there's a lot of noise that's being detected by the canny transformation that we're applying on top of it now let's have a look at Spatial CNN, that's SCNN, a deep learning model trained on lane detection datasets like TwoSimple and CU Lane. Unlike Huff Transform, it can handle complex road conditions, curves, and varying lighting. Here we notice that the SCNN model detects lane much more smoothly, even in challenging conditions like shadows and curves. Even when there's a vehicle on the road, it's able to predict where the lanes are going based on the previous uh, flow of lanes that it has. However, deep learning models require much more compute power than traditional methods. And if you really want to go ahead with deep learning models, there's two ways you can either use the pre-trained models that are available like on this open source GitHub repository, or you can uh, take it a step further and train your own models. For that, you will need your own data set or you can use the existing data sets like uh, we had Q simple and CU lanes uh, or uh, once you have the data set sorted then you need to train it so for that you'll need compute and I'm pretty sure your local computer won't be sufficient so either you have a huge compute in your locality or you are going to look towards using cloud support uh, Google Colab won't work because this is a very complex model and Google Colab won't give you so much of compute uh, the, one of the possible ways is to leverage Azure Compute with your free subscription. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to guide you through it. So, what do you think? Would you prefer the simplicity of Huff Transform or the accuracy of deep learning models for your lane detection? Let me know this in the comments. If you found this comparison useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my other tutorials on computer vision and deep learning. See you in the next one.